lifting appliance covers all stationary or mobile cargo handling appliances used on board ship for suspending, raising or lowering loads or moving them from one position to another while suspended or supported. The tests, examinations, and inspections indicated in this register are based on the requirements of ILO Convention No. 152 and Recommendation No. 160. Various Parts and Forms Part 1 – Thorough Examination of Lifting, Appliances and Loose Gear Part 2 – Regular Examination of Loose Gear Form 1 – Register of Ships Lifting Appliances and Cargo Handling Gear Form number 2 – Certificate of Test and Thorough Examination of Lifting Appliances Form number 2 – U – Certificate of Test and Thorough Examination of Derricks Used in Union Purchase Form number 3 – Certificate of Test and Thorough Examination of Loose Gear Form number 4 – Certificate of Test and Thorough Examination of Wire Rope A rigging plan showing the arrangement of lifting appliances shall be provided. In the case of derricks and derrick cranes the rigging plan should show at least the following information. The position of guys. The resultant force on blocks, guys, wire ropes and booms. The position of blocks. The identification mark of individual items. Arrangements and working range of union purchase. Ships lifting appliances are initially certified by a competent person and to establish periodically that they continue to be in a safe working order to the satisfaction of a competent person acceptable to the competent authority. Register and related certificates shall be kept and be available to any person authorized by the competent authority. The register and certificates for gear currently aboard the ship shall be preserved for at least five years after the date of the last entry. Initial examination and certification. Every lifting appliance shall be certified by a competent person before being taken into use for the first time to help ensure that it is of good design, construction, and of adequate strength. Before being taken into use for the first time a competent person shall supervise and witness testing and shall examine every lifting appliance. Every item of loose gear shall, before being taken into use for the first time be tested, examined and certified by a competent person in accordance with national law or regulations. After satisfactory completion of the procedures indicated above the competent person shall complete and issue the register of lifting appliances and attach the appropriate certificates. An entry shall be made in part 1 and 2 of the register. Periodic examinations and retesting. All lifting appliances and every item of loose gear shall be examined by a competent person at least once in every 12 months and particulars of these examinations shall be entered in Part 1 and 2 of the Register. Retesting and examination of all lifting appliances and every item of loose gear is to be carried out. Eighth, after any substantial alteration or renewal or after repair of any stress-bearing part, and b. in the case of lifting appliances at least once in every five years. The examinations and tests are to be entered in Part 1 and 2 of the Register. No new item of loose gear shall be manufactured of wrought iron. Heat treatment of any existing wrought iron components should be carried out to the satisfaction of the competent person. No heat treatment should be applied to any item of loose gear unless the treatment is in accordance with the manufacturer's instruction to the satisfaction of the competent person. Any heat treatment and the associated Examination are to be recorded by the competent person in the register. Regular visual inspections of every item of loose gear shall be carried out by a responsible person before use. A record of these regular inspections is to be entered in part 2 of the register, but entries need only be made when the inspection has indicated a defect in the item. Definition Competent authority means a minister. Government department or other authority empowered to issue regulations, orders or other instructions having the force of law. Competent person means a person possessing the knowledge and experience required for the performance of thorough examinations and tests of lifting appliances and loose gear and who is acceptable to the competent authority. Responsible person means a person appointed by the master of the ship or the owner of the gear to be responsible for the performance of inspections and has sufficient knowledge and experience to undertake such inspections. Thorough examination means a detailed visual examination by a competent person, supplemented if necessary by other suitable means or measures in order to arrive at a reliable conclusion as to the safety of the lifting appliance or item of loose gear examined. 
Inspection means a visual inspection carried out by a responsible person to decide it whether, so far as can be ascertained in such manner, the loose gear or sling is safe for continued use. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe this video among your friends and colleagues. Join our Telegram channel for latest maritime updates and exams preparations.